Welcome to another edition of Iron Truck Camper and Chef Stadium. And today's challenge is burritos. We're going to be preparing tri-tip steaks that we're going to slice into little cubes. We're going to have some arboreal rice, black beans. We're also going to have some onions and avocado, mushrooms. And that should make our burritos for today. So let's get going. We need anything that will take equal measure. So we need one cup of rice and two cups of water. And so we just need to put in an equal two to one ratio. Start your rice first because that can take the longest. There's the rice. There's one cup of water. And there's two cups of water. And again, any measuring device will work. Doesn't have to necessarily be a cup, just equal amounts from the same measuring device. Okay. Let's uh, get a couple twists of salt in there. This is the Himalayan pink salt. So we'll put in about 10 turns. This rice recipe calls for three tablespoons of butter and that is what we're going to do. We're going to give it one, two, three tablespoons of butter. And onto the stove it goes. There we go. All right, now these are our tri-tip steaks, and we have our onion over here. So I'm going to chop up onion and mushroom first and get those sautéed. So I just have a thin little plastic cutting sheet here, which works pretty well. It uh, slips in tight locations easily. And I can cut on it and not worry about damaging the countertop. cooking oil. There we go, some Bertoli extra light virgin olive oil. Here's 
our avocado. We'll get that in a bit. And here are our mushrooms. Let me just rinse these off real quick. And we're going to have a slice of a hothouse tomato. Okay. Four mushrooms are going to be good enough for this. Okay, let's start cutting up our steak. Vegetables, quick stir. So this is a tri-tip steak. Yeah, it's a good cut. I like it. So we're basically just going to go for half inch cubes with the steak. Just a little more steak here, because Mitch and I are both big boys. Okay, that's plenty of steak. Let me just move the vegetables around to clear space on the bottom of the skillet. Okay, now put the rest of it back. Wash my hands and this thing here real quick. real quick. This is my shortcut for seasoning. Tony shakers or Tony saucerets depending on who you listen to for pronunciation. And so I just give that a healthy shot. Some extra garlic. Just because I like garlic. Some Italian herb. Some red pepper. Not a lot. If you don't want it hot, don't put a lot. Some rosemary, pine needles, and the last thing is some ground up sage leaves. I shouldn't say last thing. Just good old chili powder. You can 
probably a good uh, tablespoon. The heat's at about seven on an Atwood propane truck camper stove. our tomato in there. Okay, I need something tomatoey, so I'm going to Use a shortcut and just use ketchup. Not a lot, but just enough to get some tomato -y in there. And it helps with the color. It's uh, slice our avocado. Pull the seed out, just like that. So this is all largely cooked and we are just going to kind of let things reduce a little bit. And we're also waiting for the rice to catch up. Mm, that's going to be good. A little more chili powder, just to define that chili taste. Somewhere here in the kitchen stadium, we have bowls or plates. There they are. Okay, two plates in kitchen stadium. But it looks like I am. Uh, going to have to transfer this to another skillet so that I can fry up the burrito shells. Okay, here we go. Put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Okay, we need to open up. We're going to try Bush's black beans. And this is Kelly's favorite little can opener. stuck up. All right, we are going to do this. Need 
it's just a touch more oil. Okay, let's go for it. Put a burrito shell in the pan. Put a couple scoops of black beans in the shell. Put some rice in there. some of our burrito stuff in here. It's essentially, it's like a chili Colorado is what we got. Okay. Put in a couple of slices of avocado. things are hot. Okay, so that is the first one. That is Mitch's burrito. And he should be back here shortly. Alright, let's move closer to the truck camper Iron Chef kitchen in the stadium. Okay, and here we go again. We are going to put some light, extra virgin olive oil in here. And we're going to put in our burrito shell. Put some black beans on. I'm gonna put some rice on. This is arboreal rice. essentially like a chili Colorado. Then we're going to put in some avocado.
flatten out my bowl here so that I can put the hot on a plastic plate without melting the plate. Everything's off. This one's not hot enough. cheese on Mitch's. He's really going to become angry. And to finish it up we have some sour cream. Skagit's Best Salsa Company, medium-ish salsa, and some Pico de Gallo, which is nice on these things. Okay, I think we have some heat going here now. Okay, almost ready. No, it must have blown out on me without my noticing. So these should be very, very good burritos. You know what I might just do is leave Mitch's on low here keep it warm and I'm just gonna go and enjoy my burrito. Okay. So I'm gonna eat this burrito and keep the other one warm for Mitch. Give it the old taste test here. Gotta get some sour cream out. Salsa. A little bit of pico de gallo. And one last item to finish it up. Valentina's hot sauce. Alright, let's give it a shot and see what uh, happens here. Of 
everything in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, that is tasty. And so there you go. Today's exciting food challenge in Iron Truck Camper Chef Stadium Challenge Burrito. Very delicious. I'm actually going to say extra, extra delicious. And so there you go. Today's exciting food challenge in Iron Truck Camper Chef Stadium Challenge Burrito. <laughs>